Hey there, welcome to Bottles to Consider. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at a bottle that I think is a wonderful fit for many uses uh, for hot liquids, for coffee and tea, you know, primarily. For me, it's just a daily coffee to go vessel. The Clean Canteen, as you can see, it's spelled with two Ks, Clean Canteen. Uh, this is the wide mouth vacuum mug with cafe cap, which we'll get all into that, uh, 2.0. This is wide vacuum mug with cafe cap, 2.0, 16 ounces. I think there's also a 12 ounce. But the thing about this bottle is it's, um, I think might not be around for public, uh, you know, consumption for purchase all that much longer. So if you like what you see in this video, definitely follow the links below to where you can get it. Um, we'll get into that more later because I don't think, you know, once you stop being able to find this, it's over. There are a lot of things going on. Uh, there are some aesthetic things I have thoughts and feelings about, but the thing I want to actually just jump right into and spend most of the time on is the cap because this is where I think this bottle really sets itself apart. This bottle with this cap situation is, I'd say 99.5% leak proof. And you might be like, that's useless to me. I need 100%. But the 0.5 actually, I think if you just have some good habits, you'll be fine. And the trade-offs to me have been totally worth it. But I totally understand if already you're like, no, I need a hundo. But I'd say hear me out. So this cap, let's just get right into it. We'll unscrew it. Lock mode. Sippy mode. Doesn't look really different to you, but you know, that's what it is. And when it's in lock mode, what happens is in this cap is a whole mechanism, which we're going to get to in a second. And some liquid can get stuck in the mechanism of the cap. Like I'm talking like a tablespoon of liquid in here. And then that can provide a little leak. That's the 0.5%. But if you man, you just kind of shake this out over something, you know, before you tighten it and put it away, sometimes I'll also even just like go into it and like suck out the liquid, like, and there's just like a little bit in here, then you're basically at 100% leak proof in my experience. Let's open up this cap and see the inside because this is where a really interesting thing happens in this bottle. It's just a pretty normal bottle in here. Uh, I do use it a lot, so it's got a little staining. Um, but yeah, it's a great normal bottle. Let's see, you can see actually there's a little driblet of water and that was just like hanging out in this threading. So yeah, it's not 100%, but it's so close. This whole cap and the thing that's really quite cool is it is entirely disassemblable therefore incredibly cleanable yet somehow when you put it all back together it still is very close to fully watertight so there's this little chunk take that off this is wet because this is this is the real deal i'm not showing you out of a package okay i drank liquid out of this this morning. This is water. I gave it a rinse. Um, so, I mean, you're seeing the real, this is how your bottle is going to look. Then there's a little hard rubber cap. There's a slightly less hard rubber cap. And honestly, it's, it's complicated. I'm going to step up and I'm just going to show you my hands of what's happening here. You push this little plastic thing down and look, that's the top of your sippy situation. And then there's this, it's a slightly more bendy rubber. It's like you've got five pieces and you can just like give them all a good scrub because coffee really stains, you know? So this is like a very nice thing. It's not absolutely necessary for me, but I do say it contributes to my feeling of like, I want this water bottle forever. I've never like looked at and really coveted another to-go thermos, aside from some aesthetic things. You can just do your cleaning and then put them back together. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial, but suffice it to say, it's just kind of easy. The first few times I think I washed this afterwards, I was like, this cap like isn't working. I can barely open and close it from the top. It was like so stuck. 
and it was because I had tightened this wheel just like way too much. I'd really cranked on it. So you really don't need to tighten it that much, you know. I'd say you go till you get some friction and then maybe three more or something. And at that point, everything's locked in. You can give it a test. There's a little trial and error, you know, do this, go to a sink, make sure it's not leaking. If it is, give it one more click. If it sounds like a lot of work, I mean, I know what you mean. It's not a 100% thoughtless thing, but I haven't found one that is, that's also disassemble and cleanable that also I can like tolerate looking at every day. So yeah, I know that was a lot on the cap, but honestly, the rest is, it's kind of what you see, what you get. It's, in, you know, got that insulated gonging thing. It's solid. I mean, literally, I think I probably use this almost every day, at least like five times a week for like 18 months. And I mean, it looks like the day I bought it. So it's great. One thing is that they say and they make clear is hand wash. I don't know if you can see that, but it says hand wash recommended which I've done. I have a feeling you could just dishwash the whole thing, even throw all of these little cap components in the top rack and I think it would be totally fine. But maybe it would start to show its age a little more, you know? Maybe this would scuff, maybe other things would happen. I just hand wash it probably like, I don't know, once a week or longer. Another point related to the cap is just the general sort of sipping ergonomics. I find that some of the like 100% uh, leak proof bottles, they'll have a cap, you know, and you have a little switch or a button and it goes and then you sit. I just find that cap like cumbersome and annoying. I just don't want a bottle that has like a full cap that comes up, you know? I like that this mimics in some ways the real look and feel of just like a paper to go coffee cup, which is like how I began drinking coffee, how I learned to, you know, love it. So like that association I like, and I kind of just like still being able to have it. But a lot of the ones that are really like to-go cups ergonomically are, you know, leak fest. So this I just think is a great middle ground. Again, you don't have to watch out for some like cap hitting your head and it's not leaky. And all right, some cons, and we've already touched on a lot of them. You know, it's 99.5% leak proof. It's 0.5% leaky. If you don't keep this cap under control, if you don't tighten the components enough after you've separated them, uh, if, yeah, if there's water in here, it will just seep out a little bit. So you got to think on that. I wish it wasn't so. Aesthetically, it's not like... I think the, it's not my favorite looking to go thermos I've seen. I've even seen ones incredibly similar to this. They're just like a little less rounded like this. I don't like that it turns to stainless here. I don't know why I want to say that feels like a 2000s thing, but it does. I don't love this like little shoulder here and then how it's like really high. It's like someone in like a stuffy turtleneck. I don't know. Uh, that said, it feels great in my hand. Fits in any cup holder I've ever needed it to fit in. Fits in like the side things of backpacks very easily. Yeah, it's nice to hold this, this sort of matte green finish is pleasant. And so then the other thing I was saying that is potentially, you know, a downside, but it's more just like something to really note. You cannot find this bottle on Clean Canteen's website. I think it is on its way out. And there's a new wide mouth insulated coffee tea vessel that has a cafe cap. I'm pretty sure they still call it a cafe cap. I'll double check. I'll correct that in the notes and I'll put a link in the notes to um, what this new one is. So, I mean, at least from the pictures I've seen on the internet, it looks a little nicer. It's a little just less clunky. The proportions are a little more understated, I feel. So there's a possibility that that new one you know, solves the aesthetic problems. Who knows, maybe it even solves the liquid up in here. I am curious to, you know, review it at some point. I can't officially really recommend it in any way right now. And in the meantime, if you liked what you saw here, definitely check in the comments. I'll link to, uh, I believe it's still purchasable at REI. And if I find a few other spots on the web, I'll uh, put the links there as well. 
And also, I've seen at least one thing online where it's a pretty good discount. Yeah, new was like 30 bucks, and now it's like 20 because it's sort of like last year's model-ish. So, I mean, if you're looking for something, I just, I highly recommend it. And also, if they're no longer for sale by the time you see this, I would check out Clean Canteen's newer wide mouth cafe cap thermoses or whatever the now equivalent is. But yeah, I think there's a lot, a lot of good stuff about these. Uh, so yeah, hope that was helpful and uh, see you next time.